Hi guys and ladies, I've had low carb fake mashed potato flakes in my cupboard for a long time and I search for ways to use it and I hit upon what looks to be a great fish recipe. So I picked up all the ingredients, uh, 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 except one. <laughs> you know what it is, the fish. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Let's start the fishing off using this to search for panfish. It's just a tiny plastic grub. You've seen me use this before. It's the tail of the smallest beetle spin lure. I put it on a little lead jig head. Now, if it'll only catch a few fish, let's give it a try. He's under the boat. I think he's caught. <laughs> he was caught in some chain I have on the front of the boat, but he fought hard. I knew it was a good fish. Eight and three quarters. Not bad. Whoa. I thought he was going to pull the rod out of my hands. I mean, he hits so hard, so fast. Wow, it's a nice, nice eating bluegill. Mmm, mmm, yeah. Eight and three quarters, same as the last one, but this one is heavy. Yes, whoa. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. All right. He hit hard, too. They're hitting hard. It's starting to rain, too. Ah, seven and three quarters. Good enough, though. Where'd it go? Don't get in that chain again. Crazy. He's not too small. I'll keep him. It's getting a little cool out here. Yes. Oh. <sighs> That's a good one. It's a good eater. A rainstorm is hitting. I mean, the wind is ferocious. I've got to get back in. I've got five fish, but no worries. I have shrimp in the freezer. I might do some shrimp up. Even though our outing was cut short by a rainstorm, we have over three quarters of a pound of these really nice bluegill fillets. And we could make this low carb fake mashed potato fish by bulking it up with another three quarters pound of large shrimp. So this recipe is for fish, but it ought to work on shrimp too. Let's do a quickie side dish right now.
I've got a couple pounds of asparagus here, and I, I'm just thrilled. I got free rubber bands when I bought these. I've read where you're supposed to discard the woody part, and to know where that is, you just find the break point. It seems a waste, but you discard that, and this is the tender part. I got our skillet on medium high, and all I'm doing is putting about a half, a half stick of butter in the skillet. I'm gonna add two or three tablespoons, two and a half, of olive oil to the skillet. That's enough. Here's about a half teaspoon of salt, maybe a little more, and now pepper. I don't know, quarter teaspoon? I'm gonna add two good teaspoons of this crushed pepper. I'll let it go for like one minute. Here's about one pound of asparagus. Asparagi, plural. I'm gonna keep turning these around and letting them uh, fry or roast for like 10 to 12 minutes. We'll see, until they get nice and tender. It's time, and I've got an idea. I bought these special serving dishes, and look, I'm gonna put half in each. Okay, it's still hot, and what I'm going to do is put some shredded Asiago cheese on it. Belgio e Oso. I like Asiago. You get a nice, nutty, sweet flavor. A little different than Parmigiano, Reggiano, or even Pecorino Romano. I'm going to do a little production line. I like production lines. I'm going to put two eggs in this uh, egg wash bowl. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, heavy cream. Here I've got potato flakes. Ah, 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 these aren't ordinary potato flakes. Look, these are low carb imitation potato flakes. It has some potato in it. I was reading uh, the uh, ingredients. Let's put this in our breading bowl. Look what else, hang on. I've got two packets of zesty Italian seasoning. Woo! And this plate, I call it a holding plate. That's where our fish will land. Look, I've dipped a filet into our egg wash, and now I'm putting it into the fake potato flakes. You gotta give it the pat down. And once it's all flaked up, it goes into the holding plate. I'm on my last piece, and it's a piece of shrimp. I did the shrimp second, I don't know why. Pat it down. There we are. Time to fry everything up. I've got our skillet on like medium high. I'm gonna put some oil, peanut oil in this case, in the, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna shallow fry it. So maybe, you know, a fourth, a third of an inch. I'm gonna put our shrimp and fish in, and I'm gonna fry it two minutes on each side. The really cool thing about this is it doesn't matter if I grab shrimp or fish, it's two minutes for both. Bluegill, small fish, crappie, bluegill, small bass, two minutes on each side. Now watch, see that big piece? I've got to do this in two batches though. It's been two minutes. <gasps> Time to flip and looky here, oh. Goodness, yes. The whole house smells like a great restaurant. Oh, it's so good. It's there's that seasoning. Oh. I've got our fish keeping warm in the oven. I ought to tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. You already know that we've been seeing each other for over 50 years. Uh, I'm too shy to tell her that I love her, but she's never told me that either, and I wonder if there's a subtle way to elicit those three words from her. Well, here we are with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Huge thanks for joining me here uh, tonight in my uh, tragic, troublesome trailer home. And um, you, do you have an opinion on uh, my uh, pan-fried asparagus? 
with Asiago cheese. And how about my potato crusted bluegill in shrimp? They were both very good. The asparagus was very sweet and very juicy. And of course, I love cheese, as you know. And the fish was very nice. It was well f- prepared, and I enjoyed the bo- the shrimp as well. Very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Miss Cheeks. Oh, I, I can say Lulu now. Oh, yeah. uh, what do you think of uh, kittens? Oh, I love kittens. <laughs> and what about pizza? Oh, I love pizza. <laughs> How about peppermint candy? Oh, I love peppermint candy. What about Juanello? Oh, I love the weather we've been having. Uh-huh. Um, I guess that's something. Can I have a hug? Mm-hmm.